what is the study of the human brain? The human brain is that development of memory, the ability to understand the formation of a new brain, the fourth brain, the hidden brain, as a new capacity. How is memory developed? How how we're able to use motion perception, perception. In my studies, in my PhD studies, in my postdoc, I'm actually doing a lot of my work is called intelligence and intelligence work for a lot of work known as IQ. IQ is actually created by the time of conception. It is genetic. It's made of different genetic cells, DNA, or chromosomes, or RNA, or cells, or moleculars, or photons. Everything correlates to that formation of what is known as memory and intelligence working. So yes, um, parental uh, upbringing that actually creates and correlates on the intelligence of a human being, their personality and behavior. Another interesting factor is the ability to debate, to see how intelligence working filters and is actually activated by external environmental stimulus. So if, if you're in a highly academic case, your intelligence quotient is actually high. If you're around people with a low intelligence quotient, it is to be the same average or is lower as well. Uh, DNA, external stimulus, it all correlates and forms together a design. There's a lot of studies that explain weight patterns. What are weight patterns? And how weight patterns do relate to other people in different energy levels? For example, you have you have different energy levels and weight patterns that tell us how our mind thinks and how we're able to relate and correlate to others. This is also calculated intelligence. So the, the brain is fascinating. The more I study the human brain, the more I'm able to correlate a lot of things, how we're able to know what intelligence is and intelligence goes here. So intelligence is natural. You have gifts and different types of intelligence that is given to you during the conception period. Others are good at artistic, logic, um, nature. Some other people are good at science, mathematics. We also have the capacity to develop those skills, but most of it is developed the conception period. For example, I know I'm going to be good at science and math because my father and my mother but were both science and math workers. And knowledge and learning comes easy for me. And I'm able to see cases. I have a very photographic memory that sees what I'm studying and what I'm calculating and what equation. Um, I would call it a, a, blessed, a very blessed memory. And I'm thankful to God for it. Intelligence can be developed if you relate and you're able to exercise your mind. How our spirituality also develops our intelligence and intelligence work. For example, we have Tesla and we have Einstein and we have Planck and we have Bohr. Einstein, relativity theory. Tesla, scientific methodologies, innovation. Planck, quantum physics and boy, quantum physics. All this type of things were able to correlate in something similar. The relativity, the gravity, the theory, the spectrum. We've been doing studies that actually go into detail how the spectrum affects the intelligence quotient, basically your IQ from 165 how you're able to develop that. The more you correlate and relate and you're able to exercise your mind intellectually, you're able to create a higher IQ. You're able to understand a lot of different hardcore methodologies for the mathematics, science, and your psychology and psychology. The study of the human brain is fascinating. It's it's brilliant. It is something absolutely amazing. 
we are able to increase in intelligent protein based on what we read, what we do as a job, how we're able to relate and increase our IQ. Repetitive jobs tend to lower the intelligent protein, the IQ. Um, administrative jobs, they decrease the intelligent protein in IQ. Intelligence is exercised by years by academics, by research, sometimes relating it to intellectual challenge. To be able to grow in gray matter, we are able to, and to develop like to develop like memory formation, we must be able to access portions of your brain. Relate to people with the same intelligence as you are. And most important, continue pushing academics to make science and mathematics.